Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back with another Walking Dead Season 4 review. Boom, right there, Season 4. So, this one is going to be the Walking Dead Season 4, Episode 12, which is called Still. So, um, watching Still again from The Walking Dead, oh my god, <laughs> um, oh man, uh, re-watching this episode is just a pain. It, it really is, it's pain. But um, this is my next review for The Walking Dead, of course. I love this poster behind me, too, for the reviews. I think that's, yeah, that's a cool, uh, cool thing. So I might keep that for the rest of my Season 4 reviews. But anyway, um, Season 4, Episode 12. Man! Oh, it's too bad. Because I, I really, um, when I say that, I mean it's too bad. Because literally, like, every other episode of Season 4 is just outstanding, in my opinion. Every other episode of Season 4 I absolutely love. Even the governor stuff. This episode, I cannot defend even a little bit. I just... Oh, my God. Um, I'm sorry. I did not enjoy Walking Dead uh, episode 12. I just... I thought this episode just really... Um, it, it, it's disappointing in, in many levels. It really is. Uh, so, anyway, let's just talk about The Walking Dead Season 4, Episode 12, though. So, this episode is called Still. Pretty much this is the episode with Daryl and Beth. They're out in the woods, and, um, you know, they kind of... I, I like how they um, have this, uh, you know, idea of this episode where, you know, they kind of go from at the beginning, they don't really care about anything, uh, to at the very end, they're like, at least we got each other, you know? At least if we don't have... You know, at, they don't even care about the fact they have each other in this episode. Not romantically, because I know people get that confused with Daryl and Beth, you know, around this time. Not that they are a romantic couple. First of all, age difference is insane. But um, what I'm saying is they go from the beginning of the episode. This is the only good development of this episode. They go <laughs> pretty much. Uh, they go from not even caring about a darn thing at the beginning of this episode. They don't even care about each other to the end of the episode where um, they, they're like, they realize, okay, you know what? We might not have Rick Michonne or anybody else from the prison, but at least we have each other. That's one thing that we do have, you know? So um, that's the idea of this episode. I just look at this episode and I just think filler. I really do. Um, I defend... Oh my god, you guys, you guys know, I defend The Walking Dead like crazy, because I just think it's the best the TV's ever gotten, to be honest. Um, you know, it's my favorite TV show, and I just defend the heck out of the show, because I absolutely love The Walking Dead, it's my favorite show, and uh, I just think it's awesome. But I can't, if The Walking Dead had every episode like this, it would not be my favorite show. This episode, um, you pretty much, okay, so let's just talk about it. Okay. So we start off this episode with the trunk scene. Okay. Absolutely loved it. This was absolutely amazing. I just, the scarcity they're in the trunk and then the next day, oh, boom, they're gone. They leave. You know, that was a cool development. It's like a very awesome episode, uh, you know, intro. Okay. That I thought this episode got off to an amazing start. And that's why I say this is not my least favorite episode of Walking Dead. My least favorite is Slaptown, and that review is coming up pretty soon in our throwback reviews. Um, and I will talk about it in that review. However, this episode just frustrates me so much to a point where I, um, you know, I love the opener, uh, the opener. But after the opener, you get so many scenes that just don't drive the story forward. Uh, because, well, frankly, one of them, you know, like, uh, you know, Beth, you know, I want to drink or whatever, this whole thing throughout the episode, um, why? Just, just why? Um, but anyway, um, so, uh, Daryl kills a snake, he's eating the snake, uh, Beth, I want to drink, he throws the bottle of water, um, and, uh, she pretty much leaves and kills some walkers, Daryl helps her, leads her back to camp, kind of a trick or whatever, and she gives him the finger and she's like, no, I'm leaving, Daryl's like, okay, I'll come with you, so they go to the country club, uh, and again, this stuff was pretty boring, where, uh, you basically have Beth, who's, like, killing this, uh, walker with the, uh, the glass or whatever, he's like, you said you could take care of yourself, you did, um, so she finds a new shirt, uh, which doesn't last too long because, of course, Daryl. <laughs> now, that was cool, too. When Daryl was killing the walkers, you know, he's killing them, whatever. Um, and, uh, you know, he's taking out all of his anger on the walkers. Uh, Beth was kind of right, though, when she said, you know, like, beat up on walkers, that makes you feel better. To be honest, she was kind of right about that because, well, I mean, I would, too, to be honest, after all that stuff at the prison. But anyway, um, the one where, the one with the green shirt or whatever, and he just, 
Oh man, the blood goes on Beth's new shirt. Oh man. Um, that was like, okay. Yep. That was like a 30 second minute, uh, or a thir 30 second uh, scene with that shirt. Anyway. So yeah, sh uh, white shirts do not last in Walking Dead. Okay. They don't like Rick. Okay. In Killer Within, that's, that's a perfect example, right? Rick and Killer Within in season three has a white shirt. At the very end of the episode, it's like red and brown. It, it's insane how much uh, white shirts in Walking Dead, um, you know, just do not last. Especially the one with Beth in this one. So, if you find Peach, uh, Peach Snaps or whatever, um, Daryl says that's not going to be her first drink, pretty much. He's playing darts, too. And they use the faces of uh, some of the directors, which was kind of cool. So, um, moving on, you've got, um, you know, uh, Daryl, who they go to the cabin, and, uh, you know, they find, uh, you know, uh, you know moonshine or whatever. Uh, Daryl is like, you want to you wanna learn how to, you know, they play a drinking game or whatever. Not going to talk much about that. Um, boring, to be honest. Uh, and then he's like, you you want to learn how to teach uh, shoot cross I'm going to teach you right now. Get up. You know, he goes outside. They're shooting the walker or whatever with the... Uh, arrows um he's like let's pull these out or whatever get more target practice and she just kills it with a knife um and they view it as two different things um daryl kind of is the perspective of uh he he views it more of a realistic okay um after what happened to the prison i mean i would think too that everybody most likely is dead and we're the only ones alive me and beth you know but um beth wants to look at it as you know they're alive they're out there you know but i mean i kind of have to agree with daryl even though daryl does get proved wrong and they are alive uh when rick when rick meets up with daryl i mean he bites some dude's throat so i mean that's a great meeting right but uh, no seriously though um that I think you got to kind of give Daryl, you know, you got to cut Daryl some slack. Oh, no, they're alive. What is Daryl doing? No, because Daryl's looking at it in a realistic, you know, factor. They're in a zombie apocalypse. That's bad enough. Um, but also because of the fact that what happened at the prison, I mean, I would think Rick, Carl, Michelle, Maggie, Glenn, I would think they're all dead pretty much. So, yeah, uh, that's just, that's insane. So, Anyway, uh, so you pretty much get to the point where they're just telling stories again, boring. Um, you know, not too bad, but I, I did like the story about Merle. I, I did like that. Just Beth and some of her dialogues, like whatever. Um, and then you pretty much get them who burn the uh, cabin down. So I did like the music at the end of this too. Um, yeah, I love the, the end music as they put up the finger and they go away and they're realizing, okay, at least we have each other type of deal. That's the idea of the episode. Oh my God. <laughs> Um, I've seen way better episodes of Walking Dead than this. I mean, come on. Um, I know some people might actually like this episode. I'm really not trying to offend you. It's just, this is my opinion, and I'm not, me on my, on this channel, I am honest in my reviews, and if there's something I don't like, or if there's a whole episode I don't like, I'm gonna say it. So, to rate this episode, unfortunately, guys, I am gonna put this a low rating. Uh, I'm gonna rate this a 7.2, okay? Um, I know a lot of you probably won't agree with me on this. I just think this episode needed some help, to be honest. But uh, a 7 out of 10 is, is still over half, because I do think there is a decent development in the episode. It's just, it, it's pretty bad at some points. It really is. Um, and, of course, you guys will see, uh, because Slap Town is my number one least favorite episode of Walking Dead, and that's coming up in my throwback reviews. So you guys will really get some hate in that review. However, love The Walking Dead, my favorite show. However, i got to be honest, my reviews this episode... Not, not that good. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching this review, though. Uh, and again, I uh, can't wait to review more of The Walking Dead Season 4, especially the second half, because I do like the second half, aside from this episode. So anyway, guys, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.